watching Good Morning San Diego. Good morning, Brad Perry. Hey, good morning to you. We got great weather, but also I'm telling you how now all our rescue centers are going to be connected to help out each other as Good Morning San Diego continues right now. Let's check in with Brad Perry this morning. He's in Kearney Mesa at the Fire Communication Center. I am. Good morning, Alexis David. Morning. You know what? Uh, they talk about timing, getting to fires, getting to uh, emergency situations. Well, now, thanks to Homeland Security, Chief G uh, Gino, <laughs> Chief, I always do this to you, and we've done so many things together, but Chief, who's with the San Miguel Fire Department, is letting us know that now this is a system that is bringing everyone together, making response time so much quicker, thanks to Homeland Security. It really is, Brian. We invested $2.9 million in what we call the Regional CAD Interoperability Project. So we've tied together all the fire dispatch centers in San Diego County, San Diego, Heartland, uh, North County, uh, Escondido, uh, Pendleton and Monta Vista through CDF and now all of them have a common operational picture and we can dispatch the closest available unit through our automatic vehicle locator devices on the apparatus. Yeah, now Chief, we're inside the area right here which is so amazing. We were talking about this. It's not costing anybody money to do this because it came from Homeland Security. Oh, absolutely. Uh, that was the beauty of these federal dollars after 9-1-1, September 11th, uh, uh, 2001. Uh, these federal dollars helped us put this $2.9 million that we couldn't afford here locally into all of our dispatch centers to get them united uh, under a software program that allows them to share resources, uh, track resources faster, dispatch resources faster between agencies. We literally have dropped the borders between jurisdictions and send the closest available fire engine to a medical aid or a fire call, which is great customer service for everybody in San Diego County. Yeah, and one reason this is also important, because we were just talking a little bit about this, that I might have a phone number that might be in Del Mar, but I'm in La Jolla needing help, and this way you're not sending someone from Del Mar over to La Jolla or back and forth, you're actually sending the closest person due to the places where they're at. Oh, absolutely, and on top of that, Brian, during the large catastrophic fires like a 2003 Cedar Fire or the Harrison Witch Fire in 2007, it allows us to see what's going on countywide, real time, and be more judicious in how we manage our resources throughout San Diego County through our county area fire coordinator. So it, it's, a, it's a tremendous system. It is now up and running in all the dispatch centers. We still have some work to do in Escondido, but uh, this is a milestone for San Diego County. We're, uh, we feel that we're uh, the leaders in the game on interoperable communications, and we're going to continue to do that through our new mapping programs. Yeah, and it makes people like uh, Adrian here work so much easier, and we say easier in the way of making sure that, you know, things are going out much faster to people. Oh, absolutely, and that's what it's all about. When somebody calls 911, they don't care what color the fire engine is or what patch the people have on their shoulder. They want help now. They want that paramedic as fast as you can get it. They want that first responder fire engine to suppress that kitchen fire or that bathroom fire as quickly as possible. And now we are at that point. Love it. And of course, it's right here in San Diego. It's so great for us to be connected to make sure, especially this time, we're starting to see the brush fires pop up. We're starting to see uh, people being out in the heat and stuff. And, you know, like we just had that big rescue of the gentleman that was, you know, out in the mountains. And that mm -hmm. was due to the fact that you guys got to get together and get the quickest people there. Right. And that information now can be shared between all the resources so they know what's happening everywhere in San Diego County. And we can be more prepared. We can plan better. Thank you very much, Chief. And thanks for having us out here. Thank Let's you. do some weather and tell you what's going on because, again, it is the holiday weekend and there's going to be a lot of things going out there. I want you to be safe out there. But, you know, what? if you need help. They got it all patched in together right here. As we take a look and see at what's happening outside, we are going to be seeing a little bit of uh, patchy fog in some areas, but the sun's coming through very nicely. Looking for those clouds to come through. It looks like they're actually backing off uh, pretty good there for us. And as we take a look and see for right now, we got 50 up into the Mecca area, 58 Oceanside. Uh, Lindbergh Field sitting at 66, Julian 49. Could really see a little bit of wind out towards the desert into the mountain area. It's not too much though. As we take a look and see for the surf, fair conditions weighs one to two, water temperatures from 64 to 67. And as we take a look and see for today, coastal is gonna hit 73, inland 84, mountains 86, desert 104. And for the rest of the weekend, very nice for us hitting for the holiday weekend, starting the coastal off with, how about this, a nice 75, 78 for Saturday, Sunday 80, Monday for Independence Day 78. And then for the inland, how about another nice 80 day for tomorrow? That's right, we're going to be seeing a nice little 80, 8, 90 for Saturday and Sunday. Monday for the Independence Day 89 along Tuesday, 
and then Wednesday about 90 points. Don't forget to log on to KUSI.com for all your weather news while home at work. And I'll say they work very hard, and you know, it's very quiet here, and we don't want to jinx it because uh, a quiet room in here means a great room, means that there's not a lot of emergencies out there, but when it does, it gets very busy out here. And uh, Adrian here is telling me, don't jinx it. We wanted to be safe out there this morning, so well, hopefully it does. <laughs> so, David and Alexis. Yeah, it's one of those services you don't hear a lot about until there's an emergency, and that's a good yeah. thing. Absolutely. Yeah. And I got to, you know what, I say, I always get the chief's name. I've been doing the burn uh, uh, event with him and stuff, and I always get his name wrong, so I always, you know, call him chief, so I got to make sure. Just call him <laughs> chief. Okay. That's it right there. Thanks, Brad. Thank you, Brad. All right.